Hi all! In this video, we are going to see step by step how to install the 5G LENA simulator. First, we go to the web page of the 5G LENA simulator. So I click here. Here, we click on the Get Software that redirects us in this page. Here, we can find the link of the 5G LENA repository. I will open it in a new tab and also the link for the getting uh, started web page where we can find the instructions of how to download uh, the 5G LENA. Uh, even though this web page explains in detail the steps to download, I personally prefer to follow the instructions that they are included in the readme file in the repository of the 5G LENA. So here we can find uh, details related to the prerequisites of uh, uh, the, the NS3. And also, uh, down here we can find a table with, uh, that includes uh, details related uh, to the uh, 5G LENA versions and uh, the corresponding uh, NS3 versions that are compatible with. And also information about the build system used. So in my case, uh, I have all the prerequisites downloaded. So I will uh, go to the terminal here. And the first step that uh, we have to do is to create a folder with uh, the name uh, we want. So for example, I will uh, create here NR, uh, I'm sorry, uh, make dir NR repo. I will enter uh, this directory and our repo and let us see uh, what it says here. So to download NS3 we have to do to copy this uh, this command git clone and the NS3 dev. So I will come here and paste this. This process will take some time, not a lot. So when this uh, process finishes, uh, we go to the next command and we see that we have to enter uh, the NS3 uh, dev directory. So once we have this, I will copy this command. Ready, so now I paste and I enter the NS3 dev directory. So now we are ready to download the NR module. Now what it says is to enter the contrib folder. I come here, I paste this command and we enter into the contrib folder. And we do git clone the NR module. This process is even, weak, even quicker. So continuing with the instructions, we have to switch to the, latest, the latest NR release branch. In order to do so, we go to uh, the NR folder and we do git checkout. Um, currently, the latest release is the dot uh, the two dot three. Uh, of course, we can go to another uh, release if we would like to go to a previous one. Uh, based on uh, this table, we can uh, choose between the 2.2, 2.1, etc. Okay, so in my case, I will go, I will check out to the release dot, uh, 2.3. Okay, so now we are in this branch. And the next thing is to switch also to the recommended NS3 release branch. So in this case, uh, we can see that we have to go to the NS3.37. So I go back to the NS3 uh, directory. And now here, what we will do is to check out to the 37. Okay, now we are in a detached state. So we have to create our own local branch. In order to do so, we do git checkout minus b and I will call it, for example, ns3.37 uh, release. Okay, and now we are in our branch. 
Once we have this, we can test the installation. So first we have to configure using this command. So I will copy it and paste it here. Okay, this configured. And once we have this, we go to build, to compile the NS3 with the NR. So here we do NS3. Okay, the compilation process might take uh, quite a long time, maybe more than five minutes. So in this case, I have already uh, done the compilation here. So uh, I will stop this process. And once we have this, uh, once the compilation finishes, what we can do is to run an example. In my case, I will run the CTTCNR demo. And in a while, we will have the results on our screen. So this way, we can confirm that the installation uh, has been done correctly. And welcome to the NR world. Thanks a lot for watching.